Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the last Saturday of February. The last day of February. And this is the door magnet that caused such a stir on aforementioned Facebook group that it has gone secretive. It has caused such a stir that I was banished and it went secretive. But isn't it awesome? That uh, QR code there will take you right to my YouTube channel. It looks real southern. Nice touch of Dixie in there. That's what the cursive is all about. It's also a pretty damn good picture, and I have a chase vehicle. This is my chase vehicle. So, for all of you naysayers, eat it. I will use my magnet, and I will be proud doing so. In other news, it is currently 8.07 a.m. The sun is trying to burst forth on some overcast. I think we have a KAL 747 over here on the cargo ramp. Temperature's about 37 degrees, but it feels like 32. We have had some bouts with winter weather as of late, and they have been nothing to write home about, at least for me. The northern counties got smacked pretty good, but old Maddie had to go to work every single day that there was frozen precipitation. I did get to leave work early on Wednesday of last week, but that was merely because snow was falling from the sky. It wasn't sticking. 764, perhaps in from Latin America or South, just South America actually, not Latin America, South America. Give me a valuable opportunity to put on my gloves because it's cold out here still. I need this sun to break forth. Break forth, sun, please, break forth! Oh, yes! Hello, gentlemen, hello. And here we are. This is a good way to kick off the morning. The morning classic KAL Cargo 266 Heavy. Shall be accelerating, we hope. KAL Side Stick Monster Machine is back there somewhere. So we need this one to go so the other one can come. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. You're not letting that 737 cross, are you? No? Yeah! Oh, that's a nice alarm clock for old Sleepy Maddie. Let's go, baby! Yeah! My door magnet and I love this very much. I am wearing gloves. But one of my gloves has no finger holes, or it has finger holes, rather. The tips of my fingers are getting cold as I try to zoom in, eagerly awaiting the rotation, which I know is coming soon. Oh, let's do it, KAL. There we go. Let's lift that wheel. There we go. Oh, good. Oh, very good. Up, 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 and away. KAL 266, the Saturday morning special, into what will hopefully be some brightening sunshine. Brightening. Now, where is your brethren of side stick monster machine caliber? My goodness, the hot corner has a tornado of Debris, or debris, for those of you who can't figure out that that's what I've been saying. Come on, do the tornado. Oh, it was doing a real good tornado. Do it. Tornado it up, Debris. None of that has anything to do with me. I don't litter out here at all. Now, where the hell is KAL, Side Stick Monster Machine? We know he's coming, and the sun is too. I've had to suit up with a beanie cap that covers my ears in an attempt to avoid becoming cold. There's a coffee cup that has just blown past me, making me think I was about to be ambushed. Somebody might have been running at me from behind because the door magnet's in action. Don't know if I'm going to get tackled for such things. I hope you can hear me over bluster. I am a little bit bluster sensitive. And for those of you who are tired of hearing me say bluster, go ahead and dislike. I don't really care. I, I like saying bluster. It's funny. Half of what I spout out of my mouth is mere bluster anyway, so if anyone can recognize bluster, it is yours truly. 
Now, KAL Side Stick Monster Machine approaching Hartsfield Maynard Jackson, Maynard Jackson International Airport, and then even more exciting news. Kalita Classy 742 is a mere 20 minutes away, and we cannot wait to observe it. DiGiorno shall be uh, spotting it opposite me on the Sullivan Road spotting position, but that is beside the point. Let's watch this. Oh, sweet. Coming in on the departure runway, making me all sorts of joyful as I try to spin myself around so I can watch the thrust reverse. Yay! That is just delicious. You've done well for yourself, KAL. Even though you are a machine, the machine has performed as designed. So I hear you heart Atlanta, or are we in heart Atlanta? You put that little heart everywhere on all the billboards. What's up with that, Blue Locust? It's all right, I'm not gonna give you too much of a hard time as you are wearing your new livery. There's a 767 outbound parade member, the smell of jet fuel in the air, and I am a happy man. I didn't get to come out here last week, so we are very excited about the prospect of witnessing this, witnessing that, and witnessing Kalita Classy 742, which is a mere 15 minutes away. Emerging out from behind the 767 outbound parade number, we have Cacti in shiny big not so shiny tire A321. I believe he's returning to Phoenix or Charlotte. Charlatans or Phoenicians are on board this aircraft. We know not which, but we know there's not a lot of them, for that was an early rotation, which we are very appreciative of. Good work! Shiny McNot-So-Shine Cacti Stepbrotherhood in A321 equipment. Throttling up, 767 outbound parade member. Our next order of business is to do it over the shoulder. Make sure nothing's coming that I would be a sad man to miss, and then we'll catch this guy the rest of the way. It's about time to check up on our Kalita friend. Off into the distance, we have a 767 outbound parade member, which I've already announced, but sometimes get repetitious, especially when it's cold and it's in the morning time. Woke up at 7 o'clock so I could make sure to get breakfast and get Kalita. I'm going to get a stomach full of Kalita here soon, so you stay tuned and find out next. That is up, up, up and away in glorious sight today. Kalita is close, ladies and gentlemen. Kalita is close. Kalita is over Villa Rica. Our only fear now is will she go to the south runway, which looks like she's trying to do. You never really can tell. But using our flight radar 24 application, we can tell KAL, or not KAL, but Kalita, a 742 is now at 7,000 feet, steady, on a track 162 degrees, speed 153 knots, slowing down, should be descending there soon. Where is Kalita, and will we see her on our side? Stay tuned and find out next. I think I just heard clearance for Kalita. Kalita clearance as Spirit with his retarklets is here to party. And we can't we can't blame him. We're here to party too. We're here to party for Kalita. It's gonna be a wonderful moment. It's a rare tie that we get to see such things. The wind picks up just slightly to throw Spirit off. But he makes it just fine as he often does. Oh, that's Kalita classy, alright. Oh my goodness, Kalita! Already with gear down, looking as classy as classy can get. Oh, beautiful! The wind is beginning to pick up and bluster me around a bit, but I care not. 
Vryhav Kalita, I think it's wearing his beautiful titles and paint scheme too. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm speechless. I am without speech. Oh, Kalita, you look so great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, flare for me. Not really a flare, but you know what I mean. Flare retard. Oh, I'm speechless. Look at it. I am in awe. Awestruck. I dare not lose box integrity here. Wow! Oh, yeah. Look at those wingtips. I want to see the uh, probes that extend out the backs, the static wicks or whatever the hell they call them. Oh, I can hear it. Oh, and then he shut the engines down. Not down, but you know, throttled them down. Oh, I'm all a Twitter inside. I'm all a Twitter. And not Twitter the social media, but my heart is thumping fast as I watch this beautiful Kalita aircraft slow itself down. And that was our morning score, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it was all about. Look at that, those are the engines I was referring to, how much I love them. Kalita, you're beautiful! Couldn't see a more beautiful sight, look at that. Put your spoilers down and I'll turn off the camera. And there is the tale of the mighty Kalita Classy. DiGiorno has joined us after viewing Opposite. DiGiorno, where would you say you were positioned? Over there by that bank? Uh, here, here. Down here by the water tower? Yeah, right down there, like... By um, the Sheraton? No, over here. I want to get your finger in the... In, there we go, yeah, okay. Right down there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, now we wait and wonder, will Kalita come back to us? That right there, I guess, would be the Kalita question mark. The spirit! Bringing with it the evil cold bluster that accompanies evil spirits. It is said that when you enter a room and it feels cold and chilly in your soul, there might be a dark spirit among you. Well, that is how we feel right now, as DiGiorno and I question many mysteries. There is the mystery of Kalita Classy, and there is now an Aeromexican mystery. Are we being served by Aeromexico right now without knowing it? and missing the departure, right, DiGiorno? Uh, yeah, right. We, do, we missed the departure of Aeromexico, allegedly. Now this is according wait, to wait, flight another, There's like another, a CRJ-900 Aeromexico taxi, which is like what it says. Yeah. A CRJ-900 Aeromexico two is supposedly seven. taxiing. Two 73s? Yeah, are, are, have left. Have, have they already left today? Yeah. That's are they I'm NASCAR just... fans, perhaps? I don't know. <laughs> what if it's the Mexican NASCAR charter? Because the Mexicans are really into NASCAR. Isn't that hilarious? Yeah. Okay, well, we're not mocking evil spirit enough. Hey, evil spirit, you're evil. Look, yeah, there's, there's two Aeromexicos en route to us right now. They're en route? Two 737. 737 700s? Yes. Do they have split scimitars? Uh, I don't think they have them. All right, what time is our expected arrival? We need the sun to break through this overcast, shining its glow upon our souls. It will make DiGiorno and I smile. DiGiorno, what are you doing back there? Oh, I can see you bouncing around in my, the reflection of my box. It's interesting. It's very weird. It's throwing me out. Stop it, DiGiorno! <laughs> I can see your reflection, you're just bouncing up and down. Oh, birds. Warm up some other way. Do some jumping jacks to my right. There you go, jumping jacks. That will keep one warm or even. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? It's like you're doing some kind of weird native tribal dance. Or some workout video. 
Is that like the DiGiorno PX390 or whatever the hell they call it? Oh dear, okay, we're disregarding Eva and her small top. Very precious, very pretty. You know what I'd like to see is 747 SP. Are you warm? I'm realizing I need a battery recharge already. This thing not charged. I have a new wall charger that I've been using. I wonder if it charged battery. Either way, we might want to switch out batteries. I didn't realize I had occupied so much space. Twisting around like a pretzel and then making the necessary steps to correct. Maneuvering to catch the Eva Air Cargo as she slows her roll. Arizona 1 is up, 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 and away. Not quite yet, but will be very shortly. You should watch it accelerate down the runway in its glorious colors. Past the Kalita tail. And accelerating, accelerating, accelerating. Is it full? Is Arizona one loaded down with passengers? Well, we don't know. Stay tuned and find out next. Oh, I like that. Very, very nice classy rotation. Sorry, the 752 door check failure had to interrupt it. And I see a sight for sore and or irritated eyes back there. Oh, yeah. Delta 837 bound for Honolulu, but... Let us not forget the nice treat we received from Southwestern in Arizona 1. Am I missing an S-turner? Holy crud. More S-turnies. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, he's real close to that mad dog. Damn. I was mesmerized. Mesmerized by the 837 Heavy. DiGiorno, we might have a go-around situation. This is S-turny. I saw a southwest speed livery go around when I was driving. You already saw it go around today? Yeah. Oh, shit just, fire. It went right over my head. Wow, that's a pretty close S turn, DiGiorno. This is pretty close. Oh, come on, baby. How's that mad dog? He's off the runway. He's off the runway. All right, I guess he's pretty well lined up. Dairy Queen putting on a show. I missed the majority of it because I was looking that way. Well, I think he did good. Last chance for a go around, and I think he'll be just fine. That is a shame, but we did get to catch the tail end of some S turnage action. Where that guy came in from? Cozumel. Mexico City. Mexico City. Is he one of the Code Share Aero Mexico Mysteries? Yes. And swinging on to the runway, we have Delta 837 Heavy. Glad to get out of Cold Town and go to a wonderful paradise where the sun shines. The women wear skimpy attire and the tiger sharks bite hard. Honolulu, baby, on a side stick wide body. As much as we have a distaste for side stick, we do like wide bodies, so the wide body outranks the side stick. We have a smoky startup. I've been chasing smoky startups all morning, having never been able to catch one because they usually dissipate before I get to them. I'm, I'm horrified by the thought of fame. Yeah, we are in the Tornado of Debris. A Tornado of Debris is occurring at our feet. That one's Mexico City. There's a Mexico City code share. And we need to pay attention because he's going to make that sound here in just a minute. That's Mexico City. Now, next to his baby brethren, narrow body side stick, we hope this Honolulu bound aircraft is about to depart. We've wasted two minutes of jibber jabber. There it is. is actually vibrating, that's unusual. Do you feel that? DiGiorno feels it too. Now we are in Wall of Doom, Sector Infinity. Hot corner as it has come to be known. And no, we'll never do that. <laughs> we will never do that, DiGiorno. It's a secret. Shit, I'm hated now already, DiGiorno. I'm banned. <laughs> What do you think? And up, up, up and away. You gentlemen are heroes. 
full length. This is great. I'm ready. into the eastern sky as he passes all sorts of widget brethren. Mad Dog Sandwich. Oh, that's interesting. Up, 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 and away. Fantastic. Fantastic departure. DiGiorno refused to shoot it because of backlit. He is that biased. He is bigoted against backlittery. Oh, what do I have here? Oh, I'm arriving at the North Deck and finding, is this one of those racing ones? Oh, rock and roll. Oh, sweet, I love this. This is the Dale Earnhardt Black ERJ Radical. Radical. Oh, what a good score to come out of the car to. Oh, I love that. Neato Mosquito. I think there's somebody in a car next to mine. But I don't really care. This is for race weekend. Race weekend has the landmark ramp packed full of goodness up there. I've already wandered around up there. I just didn't take you with me. I just took my still photos. Well, much to my dismay as I watch Radical BizJet pull back into its parking spot, DiGiorno texted me asking if I got Miami. There was a Miami Air 738 sitting down there. So apparently I missed that, and that's because I stopped at the Otter, or the Kangaroo, or whatever the hell it's called, in order to acquire a Slim Jim. A Slim Jim cost me Miami Air 738. Son of a... That is a Transavia 737, I believe. Forget where it originated, it's going to Punta Cana. Meanwhile, here on ground level, at the north side, we have Shiny McNot So Shine Cacti Stepbrother A321 departing in glorious shine. It looks marvelous, doesn't it, folks? It's not Shiny McShine, but it reflects something on your soul that brings you a very nice feeling, warmth in your heart. For you know, American Airlines will always be there for you. Up, 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 and away, looking glorious as he goes to Charlotte or Phoenix. I have a big old contrail. What is this? What kind of contrailer are you? Oh, he's on a C-17? No wonder you're not showing up on flight or radical. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's a good looking contrailer. C-17, baby. It's hard to keep it still. It's hard to keep it in the box. Particularly with Bluster. Zooming in to the maximum of my capability. Hopefully this is worth the shot. Because that sure looks cool. Oh, neat. I love military aircraft. I love them. I salute you, Air Force pilots. You guys are radical. I have to keep it on the con trailer. He's turning. The C-17 is turning right into the sun. Oh, that is cool. Focus back on it. Where is There it is. Oh, radical. See you later, C-17. It's hard to keep up with. Oh, shit fire. Oh, man. Oh, hell yes. Oh, I was paying attention to the C-17 con trailer when all of a sudden out from behind the air conditioning vent popped one of these radical biz jets coming off of the landmark ramp. One of these awesome biz jets. It's a Falcon 2000, I think. 
One of the ones associated with the race. Oh, man. I wish I was paying closer attention. I mean, I had two very marvelous sights in a row. Oh, sweet. Right after Radical Bizjet goes off, now we have a 767 outbound parade member. I haven't even looked over my shoulder. I feel like I've been missing so much ever since I became transfixed on the C-17 Contrailer. But it was a it was an amazing sight. What what else was I to do? Now the contrails are out. Old Maddie's senses are even more overstimulated as I am looking up, down, and all around at the various sites that I could be filming just for you. So, it's a daunting prospect as I strive to bring you the best in Atlanta airspace acquisition of aircraft. I'm not sure if this is a part of the racing crowd or not, but either way, it is a biz jet. We like his face. It's a good face. It's not the Sovereign or Excel face, which are yucky. Those are yucky faces. So behind this Cessna Citation Bravo, we have Delta 83 Heavy, our first member of the 767 Euro-originating parade sector. We also have a domestic sector, and I believe we haven't seen any of it yet. Either way, in the style of BizJet, here we go. Hopefully he will occupy a spot that will need to be vacated by one of the radical racing car BizJets that's down there. So maybe we'll get another departure. What do you bring with you today, my dear friend? Some winglets, no doubt. Any stamps, signatures, or insignias? Let us hope not. Let's also bring it into brilliant focus. Not sure if the stanker is going to allow that. Either way, that's the best I'm going to do for right now. Otherwise, we'll just have to clip this part. Shining brightly in the sunshine. Although the sun is shining, it is still blustery and it is still a little bit chilly. Oh, 767 parade number Delta 83. I can just watch you in awe. What are they talking about? They're talking about something yeah, like this. Like what? Oh no! Who is it? Oh please! I think they're talking about NASCAR on the radio. And away goes Andrew Young. Way to sign it. Oh, Jiminy Krilma. I have caught Korean Airlines. Flight 36 Super Heavy. Outbound to Incheon, Korea. Along with all the other gawkers who are staring upon this monster machine, I too shall observe the flight crew as they ready this machine for its inevitable thrust and lifting off from the ground into orbit all the way to Incheon. So, what are we going to do? Are we going to sit? Sit quietly? Waste batteries? Oh no, we're not. Here we go. Very good. Very good. We enjoy that. Any problem? Any harder? Any harder? Is that all you got? All right. All right. That's fine. Very good looking aircraft, although it is a monster. Where is Dynasty? Over the shoulder reveals nothing. Dynasty might already be on that cargo ramp, and I don't know why I'm obsessing over Dynasty when I have side stick monster machine here. I'm about to avoid the wall of doom. Oh, yes, you can do it. Rotate. She's a heavy one today. She is a heavy one. Up, 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 and away off into the distance. Wowzers. Over the shoulder we are clear. Look at it go. 
Go to Zorno. Urinate in the sky for us to Zorno for out from behind Radar Hill emerges the one and only Kalita. All right. Yes, I am filming DiGiorno. You didn't want the people to hear about you urinating in the sky for us, did you? Well, you always gotta expect I'm rolling. Oh, you gentlemen are wonderful piloting this thing. You even have a flight engineer back there. Oh, I can't wait to hear the sound. Hopefully this bulldozer won't overrule it. There we go, thank you. We need silence for Connie. Oh, I'm not tuned into the right ATC frequency, so we will not hear the clearance. But we will get to look at it. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so nice. You guys are awesome. I'm ready when you are. You're loud, let's be loud. According to DiGiorno, he is light. Here he goes. <laughs> cool. Oh yeah. Red. All right. That was awesome. Now, DiGiorno said he had very little cargo on board, and he was right. We're going to get rocket ship Coletta. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Oh, yeah, baby. I don't know why DiGiorno wanted to see that from the sky meadow, because there ain't going to be much to see. He's going to be up at 3,000 feet by then. That is a rocket ship, Connie. Look at it go. Oh, my heavens. Such a rare sight here at the Hartsfield Maynard, and it is one that wells our heart up with so much glee. A tear almost comes to our eye, but we won't let it, for it will only freeze there. We don't want frozen tears. We have big dinner plans this evening. Oh, God, as I sit awestruck by the Connie departure, we look to our right only to see... PSA! Oh, hell yeah, Cacti with a special livery. Well, is it? Oh, God, it's got American titles, and DiGiorno's calling me now. We don't answer now. Look at that, smiling at us. Oh, God. Oh, God, look at that. What a wonderful day. Oh, boys, he's into the obstructions. Pretty much farewell forever. Even more palpable excitement, DiGiorno has just phoned me and told me that this guy's been cleared to land nine or left. For some reason. Cleared to land on nine or left, yay, a 737. Nothing spectacular about the 737 itself, but the fact that it is arriving on a raritous runway. Not that that runway's rare, but you know what I mean. It's an unorthodox procedure, therefore we will capture it. Wow, look how close he is. Yes. Oh, good. That was good recon by DiGiorno. I don't see that too often. Because of weight turbulence, apparently. Nice. Wow, all sorts of excitement. Oh, God, all sorts of excitement. Yeah. And now the Falcon departs. Wowzers, what a day we are having now. Heavens. Oh, yes. We are having a splendid Saturday. What a splendid last Saturday of February. Hopefully, the end of winter, too. I've had it. Up, 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 and away. Falcon 2000 on Saturday. All right, this is how we might wrap it with Dynasty. We are looking for other catches. We might have a short bus behind them. We don't know. We'll have to stay tuned to find out next. We've had one magnificent day here with all sorts of excitement, as you well saw. Oh, and now the phone wants to ring. I can't answer that. I got Dynasty. Oh, it's gonna drive me crazy. It's driving me crazy! I can't answer. 
I can't answer. I'm so sorry. Okay, thank goodness. Now we can concentrate on our backlit dynasty. They're just now clearing in the land. Boy, he was close. Damn it! I'm getting text messages and all sorts of stupid stuff going on. Stop it! Stop making my phone make noises. It drives me crazy when I'm in moments of concentration. I botched the box because of it. Dynasty. I don't know why DiGiorno texts me when Dynasty is inbound and he can clearly see it from where he is. What a goof troop. Dynasty, put your nose down. There we go. Another 747, another notch in our belt, another wonderful day here at Hartsfield Manor, Jackson. What do we have here arriving as I rush, rush, rush to the Diplomats Club after obtaining some much needed sustenance from the McDonald's? 767 Parade member. According to DiGiorno Reconnaissance, the PSA, Cacti, and American Titles was supposed to be coming in on the north side, or departing on the north side, rather, so I rushed, rushed up these windy alleyways and into the bright sunshine of the Diplomats Club, and not exactly set up in an appropriate manner, nor do I have my hat, so I have one hand peering over my eyes. But I can tell it's a 764. Now, where's this PSA? Oh, oh, son of a whore. Backlit. There goes our PSA wonder. I can't even see. Me either. I can't see it at Actually, all. It looks like an Air Asia. It's just black. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. horrible. Oh, God, the backlittery. My eyes have not yet adjusted. Oh. Maybe we can see it now. Maybe you viewers can see it. We can't. Usually the viewers can see it, DiGiorno. No, no, you're exactly right. A long time ago when Reagan was in office, there was a Benghazi type situation. He bombed the fuck Oh, that was Tripoli and, uh, that was Tripoli. He took the B1s over there? No, it was the F-111s. Really? Yeah, F-111s. It was Tripoli, uh, in 1982, I think. It was as a result of, uh, Muammar Gaddafi, um... I can't remember. Whoa, that, that's got radical winglets. Sorry, I think that is, that's a Challenger right there. That's beautiful. Dude, that's a Challenger with radical winglets. I think. DeJorno, can you see it from here? Do you, yeah, do you want to see? see? It kind of does look like it. See? Like Challenger with those winglets on. Yeah. Weird. Oh, man. See, that's why the north side's a beaut. Oh, Eva! Oh, brilliant! Good spot, DiGiorno, good spot. Very nice backlit. I can't even see a damn thing about you. Yeah, let's see if we can't get up there. I can't see it! I can't see it! Oh, uh, maybe the viewers can. The viewers know. Now we're rolling, and we have more BizJet action. This is a Learjet, and right behind it looks like University of Alabama or Arkansas. I don't know what what kind of jet that is. You got anything coming up on my left? Just join it. Of what? Oh no, God no, God no. This little Learjet looks dressed to impress. Is this a new one? I think so. Yeah. Oh, that's my. Do you, do you hear my phone going off? That's an alert. That's a uh, flight aware alert. We need to check that out. Okay, and here I, I, comes. I well, what is this, Dishorna? Let's identify this. I intend on going to Charleston soon to go to Charleston. Charleston would be neat. The, the C 17s fly the every day. The military airlift command? Hell well, yeah. The C 17s fly every day. The 787s fly every day. And the Dreamlifter flies like every other day. Oh, that's a dream in and of itself. Look at this. University of Arkansas or Alabama, we know not which, but they are up, up, up in a way. They're going to get Cinco slammed, especially if they're here trying to recruit from my University of Georgia Bulldogs. We do salute the SEC team as we ram you into the Cinco. Oh, Jesus.
My phone's out of batteries. I'm pretty sure we, uh, I'm in trouble. I'm starting to go into panic mode. I'm, I'm losing sure battery. Seven, five, uh, open skies. Oh, uh, is the open skies in. still here? They come in still. Yeah, they do engine swaps, I think. Neat. Well, that's neat. A mosquito. This is a floater. And the moment I take my jacket off, I wish I would have put it back on. Damn. Well, damn, please. Damn, missing another bizjet. What are you? Another Citation Bravo, or you have an Excel face? Oh, you have an Excel face. You can see the heat haze. I can tell. We are in bizjet central over here, DiGiorno. My goony. I want to see some of these bad boys depart. See, Saab 2000s. Cool looking CRJs. Badass ERJs. Anything over here with a strobe that I can tell? No. Over here. Whoa, there's a cat! Look, there's Jorno, a cat! Kitty! Kitty! Come here, come here! Up against the heat haze, there's a little kitten! You see it? Where are you looking? Look, look, don't look to, uh, look to my viewfinder. Oh my gosh. It's a cat! Look at him! It's just sitting on top of the hill? Yeah! Like, he's right here. Right above that mad dog uh, tail. Oh, look at that! What a, you watch out for that mad dog, you kitty. Oh, he's so adorable! Can you see him with your magic eye, DiGiorno? Mm, barely. And here we go. I believe we have some excitement. We have both Bear Fair, Spirit of, or Tard Taxi, or Short Bus. All of those nicknames I have invented. And uh, this must be Sir Francie. DiGiorno hasn't shot anything. Joining us tardy today is Bobby, but we will be joining Bobby all day tomorrow. Right, Bobby? Yes. I'm not going to come out here early morning, though. I got him on his, like, one of his first times he got Okay, they're going to talk amongst themselves, and I'm going to talk to you about Sir Francie and home of the Bear Fair lining up adjacent to one another. This is a good double. This could be our grand finale other than the Shamu, because DiGiorno is just dying for Shamu. They're going to repaint that thing soon. They're going to kill Shamu. Like I'm surprised those people from Whale Wars haven't started attacking. Hey, wow, this is going to hey, be you nice. you bet where Spirit's going to? Uh, this is probably going to um, LaGuardia, I don't know. Atlantic no. City? No. Uh, Detroit? Yes. Detroit bound, the home of my Nini. We celebrated our second anniversary last and night. The home of failed economic policy. Well, of course, the home of democratic rule. Look at that. I and like GM. that. That is nice. Oh, man. We're going to stay with the spirit because I've been begging for the short bus for quite some time. We did allow Sir Francelot, the not so mighty frog, to touch down. It's nice. We even tried to move so we don't Cinco slam it, but we might. Is he going to make it? I oh, made it. Very nice, it's real good. So here we are with Bobby and DiGiorno at the foot of runway 27 left. But they're not operating this direction. DiGiorno is being very dangerous. He's going to end up falling into oncoming traffic. What is that right there, DiGiorno? So, Frontierio? New livery? No. Oh, gross! Bobby, get down from there! Jesus, dangerous. Beyond yonder fence, we have Lufty. He's going to taxi to his gate space over here next to Sir France, Luff, not so mighty, and the Virgin. And here comes. Oh! Oh, 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 oh God! Always bidding us adieu, whether it's farewell or hello. We love our hawkery. And he loves riding on the wake vortices. Uh, it's like a heavy taxi or something. Looks like there's a heavy 7.6 about to depart. I would love to see that. I would love it.